Welcome to this video from In 28 Minutes. Thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms, Udemy, Safari and Pact. Let's welcome our lead instructor, Rangarao Karanam. Welcome back. In the previous video, we discussed about the challenges with microservice architectures. In this video, we would introduce you to Spring Cloud and we would talk about various components under the umbrella of Spring Cloud, which help us to provide solutions to the challenges we discussed. Let's get started. If you go to the home page of Spring Cloud, which is cloud.spring.io, it says Spring Cloud provides tools to quickly build some of the common patterns in distributed systems. To the typical problems which are present for distributed systems in the cloud, Spring Cloud provides a range of solutions. The most important thing that you need to understand is Spring Cloud is not really one project as such. There are a wide variety of projects under the umbrella of Spring Cloud. On the Spring Cloud homepage, if you scroll down further, you'd be able to see a huge variety of projects which are related to Spring Cloud. One of the important projects in Spring Cloud is Spring Cloud Netflix. Netflix was one of the organizations which started playing around with the microservices architecture very early. There are wide range of components that Netflix has open sourced under the project Spring Cloud Netflix. Later in this course, we would be talking about a couple of them as well, Eureka, Hystrix and Zool. Other than Spring Cloud Netflix, there are a wide range of projects under the umbrella of Spring Cloud. Some of them are Spring Cloud Config, which is to provide a centralized configuration management, Spring Cloud Bus, this enables the microservices and the infrastructure components, things like config server, things like API gateway to talk to each other. In this course, we will be using the Finchley M2 release of Spring Cloud. Now, let's take a quick look at the challenges which we discussed earlier and the projects in Spring Cloud that provide solutions to those challenges. One of the challenges we talked about earlier was configuration management. We talked about the fact that there would be multiple microservices, multiple environments for each of these microservices and multiple instances in many of those environments. This would mean that there is a lot of configuration for these microservices that the operations team needs to manage. Spring Cloud Config Server provides an approach where you can store all the configuration for all the different environments of all the microservices in a Git repository. So you can store all the configuration for different environments of different microservices in just one place in a centralized location and Spring Cloud Config Server can be used to expose that configuration to all the microservices. This helps us to keep the configuration in one place and that makes it very easy to maintain the configuration for all microservices. The next challenge we talked about was the dynamic scale up and scale down. In the example you are looking at, there is a microservice called currency calculation service, which is talking to the currency exchange service. As you can see in the diagram, there are multiple instances of the currency exchange service. And it's possible that at any point in time, new instances can be added in or removed out and we would want the currency calculation service to be able to distribute the load between all the instances of the currency exchange service. We would want to be able to dynamically check what are the available instances of the currency exchange service and make sure that the load is distributed among all of them. The solution which we would be discussing in this course 
would be using a naming server which is Eureka. So all the instances of all microservices would register with the naming server. So the naming server has two important features. One is service registration. So all microservices can register with the microservice. The second one is service discovery. So in this example, the currency calculation service can ask the Eureka naming server, hey naming server, give me the current instances of currency exchange service and the naming service would provide those URLs to the currency calculation service. This helps to establish dynamic relationship between the currency calculation service and the instances of the currency exchange service. We will use ribbon for client side load balancing. That means the currency calculation service will host ribbon and it would make sure that the load is evenly distributed among the existing instances that it gets from the naming server. We'll also use Fain in the currency calculation service as a mechanism to write simple RESTful clients. The solutions for visibility and monitoring are A. Zipkin distributed tracing server. We would use Spring Cloud Sloth to assign a ID to a request across multiple components and we would use Zipkin distributed tracing to trace a request across multiple components. One of the important things about microservices is these microservices have a lot of common features. For example, logging, security, analytics and things like that. You don't want to implement all these common features in every microservice. API gateways provide great solutions to this kind of challenges. We will use a Netflix Zool API gateway in this course. We will also implement fault tolerance using Hystrix. If a service is down, Hystrix helps us to configure a default response. In this video, we took a quick look at the various components which are present in Spring Cloud to provide solutions to the challenges which we discussed earlier. The idea behind this video is to help you get a high level big picture. If you have a few questions about what each component does, that's okay. We'll discuss about each of these components in detail as we take them one by one in the next steps. Until the next video, bye-bye. In 28 Minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like Udemy, Safari Online and Pact. We have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months. The question is, what do you want to learn next? We are building solutions to help programmers at all levels. You can learn programming with our awesome courses on Java, Python and JavaScript. You can learn full stack development with REST APIs and microservices with a wide range of frameworks like Spring Boot, Node.js, React, Angular and Spring Cloud. We have 200 plus videos to help you start your journey from a programmer to a software architect. We have videos to help you learn frameworks, industry trends, including things like microservices, learn the best practices in architecture, design and code quality. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.